Hey folks, I'm back with another video. Now, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Jonathan Hyde, Freddy Sayers uh, discussion on the on his unheard YouTube channel. Now, this will be my review of the discussion, some of the points and uh, what I thought of and what I picked, what were some of the things that grabbed my attention so to speak so let's dive into it now of course anytime we talk about Jonathan Haidt it is time to it's always a good time to just get to a refresher on the five moral foundations namely the harm care the fairness reciprocity in group loyalty, the authority or respect, and the purity, sanctity. Now he did touch up on all of them to an extent, but uh, I would like to talk specifically about the fairness and reciprocity. Now he divides the fairness into the left and the right. Now he says for the left, the fairness is about equality but he also mentions the fact that for the far left it is the equality of outcome whereas for the regular person on the street and the vast majority of the left the equality to them means the equality of opportunity but he also mentioned that for the right it is uh, different for the right it is the idea of proportionality so there is of course this is a very old sort of discussion that we I'm assuming the humanity has had since the inception of civilization of what is fair but so far it seems that the fairness has something to do with being either holding equality or proportionality and trying to sort of get the two get the best of both sides but of course the far left in recent time have pushed the left towards this idea of the equality of outcome which is creating a, a weird situation which I will touch on as we progress in this video now the other thing that he talked about that grabbed my attention was what was his view, what was his understanding of the political divide in our current climate. Now on the left he says the divide is between the center-left or liberal, the, the sort of um, old liberals who are closer to classical liberal, let's just say, in their view, and of course the new woke left which is of course this whole it's a weird alliances of the progressives the feminists the antifas and the of course the black lives matter movement which is which has amalgamated into this woke left and then on the right he says the divide is between the social conservatives the business conservatives and the authoritarians now i personally have a gripe with the usage of the word authoritarians and it is not full i would i would have liked for freddie sayers to have done a bit more like pushback or maybe he should have inquired on this particular particularly more because while at this moment both the right and the left both have their own authoritarians and this is a point that uh, Professor Haidt also made in the video which was that the author the extremists on the right and the extremists on the left are both using the other as an excuse for their existence every time there is the fringe left does something bad the fringe right comes out and says we need to do something about that and anytime the fringe right does something the fringe left 
the woke left get together and they say they need to fight these uh, bad people, let's just say, on the other side of the aisle. And this was a point that was something that uh, became, that I got from Carl Benjamin, popularly known as Sargon of Akkad, where he was saying that the the extremists on both sides are they have gone so extreme that they are now they almost look identical and of course there's another element here as well is the fact that well i think professor jonathan Haidt is seeing authoritarians and i think the way the, the reason why he's seeing the authoritarians on the right is the fact that we know how authoritarian right you know get to um, dominate the right we know what their sort of path is we know the signs yes that's the more we know what the signs are for the right authoritarians to be very of. however in our current environment it seems that we and this is something Jeremy Peterson has asked and I have not found a satisfactory answer to that which is how do we know that the there is a rise of authoritarians on the left. What are the signs that show that the left has gone too far? And while Professor Peterson said that the equality of outcome is one such sign, and I agree with him, that that is one such sign when the left goes into we need the equality of outcome, that that is one of the signs. It seems that it is not the only sign because they could argue that they are just not well educated to understand why it's wrong. Anyhow, there were a few other points that he made in the video that also grabbed my attention. And namely was the idea that the religious circuitry, that we in each individuals have this religious circuitry, which operates despite even, despite abandoning our religious belief, that people operate with this sort of religious circuitry and they don't seem to realize that that they may have abandoned the religion that need for that religion is inbuilt in us and that this is something where I believe it was Michael Shermer he made a good point that he said on one of the podcasts I believe it was with Stefan Molyneux where he said that the atheists have abandoned the God with a big G and replaced it with a small G government as their new God. And I think that, well, from what I see, I actually think he is, he has a point there that a lot of people who abandoned God suddenly started to become big government individuals. Not all, there are plenty of atheists who are not, but there are enough vocal atheists that went for the root they took the root towards big government now, another point which is which is i think is important is that there is a subset of scientists which is important a subset of scientists not all scientists a subset of scientists have become vocal and they have politicized science now this he mentioned number of um events that have happened in the last year where the, the doctors and nurses were signing petitions saying that you know where once they said that you can't you can't go outside uh, during lockdown otherwise you will spread the virus but you can go outside to protest for the black lives matters uh, movement because that is somehow more important fighting racism is more important now not saying fighting racism is not important, but I think there are much more effective ways of fighting racism than spreading, than being both viewed as blatantly hypocrite and being, and of course, you know, that kind of thing pushes the conservatives to be more skeptical of the scientists. And uh, kudos to Professor Haidt where he does say that the conservatives are not actually anti-science. They're just against scientists who are politicizing 
the field of science for politics and I 100% agree with them I mean sure there are some you will always find a, a small group of people within conservatives who are going to be every group has a, a small portion of people that are not that identify with the larger group but they have their own peculiarities but the, the small group does not represent the the majority and so of course that is important to keep in mind but he, he is correct to say that generally the conservatives are not anti-science they are anti-politicizing the politicization of science which I I which which was a point that uh, you know uh, that I picked on let's just say anyway I think I'll be continuing to do these kind of videos where I get to learn and then where I can you know where if I learn a number of things that I guess I'll make some videos like these in the future anyway that's it for this video if you like the video then hit that like button and that's a and hit the subscribe button for future updates write in the comment sections your thoughts criticisms and anything I might have missed and of course go check out that video on the unheard the youtube channel unheard of freddy sayers and the links to that video will be in the description box it is an absolute you know is it is wonderful informative and there's so much more he talked about but these were the things that i picked on and that i noted there were other things he talked about that i did not pick on hopefully you people will listen to it you will also enjoy the video well that's it and i will see you in the next video